Hello, my name is Erica Leon, and I'm a senior at Lincoln High. You know! And my poem is titled, Home. Sometimes my mom apologizes for the childhood I've had. I can't really forgive her, because I'm not sure how much of it is her fault in the first place, or what she thinks she could have done to change the course of history, but I wonder, if we are our experiences, then what does that make me? I am derived from broken homes and regret, dreaming of a time when I won't hear stories of family feuds, wrongdoings, and tragic deaths, a time before life hardened my mom's calluses and sadness filled the crevices of her soul. Married at 16 to trade a broken dream for a broken man. I am derived from this, from the border that my great-grandfather crossed from Mexico, Cold and unforgiving like generations to come, I'm from my father's hatred of his own culture. Associating family with nightly beatings, bleeding has become all too familiar. And it has the same coppery smell as a man taking a shame out on his only son. And when it comes to self-destruction, family is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Seems to be a family tradition. A cycle of sweating through clothes and grinding bones and gritting teeth so forcefully that cartilage between knuckles disintegrates and teeth are worn paper thin, dark circles under eyes, and leathery skin. I am derived from this. I am the chance result of a thousand mistakes made in just right order. A perpetuation of a heritage of cold stones thrown at windows and door slammed clothes, but I am not complaining. My family drama is going to make great material for a book someday. I'm not a victim of narrative, not the plot points and characters which linger only as memories. I am my great-grandmother's house, an abandoned sanctuary, the setting of my mom's favorite childhood stories, cradled by a shallow creek and an Indian burial ground, still standing despite years of unyielding weather and dreams forgotten, dilapidation does not detract from the feeling of home. This home, our home, we visited last summer. Golden afternoon light caught the floating dust, thick coatings of memories and rust, beads and buttons scattered across rotted floorboards, through the must and moss. In long years past, it still smells like grandma. Her comforting presence lingers, accompanied by memories and daydreams like old friends. Vines wind up and weave through empty window panes, rooting this place to the earth, reclaiming it reclaiming me. I come from this. <laughs>